Okay, so Project X. Project X uh, originally was going to be uh, my own design aircraft, uh, which you can sort of see sketch uh, PDF uh, drawing currently on the screen uh, of uh, what was going to be a high wing parasol wing uh, style uh, vintage type class aircraft which I was sort of going to call the Petite Paul um, with a radial engine, uh, the Werner radial engine on it, five cylinder uh, was one option I was thinking about, three cylinder was the other option erring on the side of the yeah, five cylinder 60 horsepower uh, to give it a reasonable cruise speed and uh, also to have a, a little bit more engine at the front end to help keep the centre of gravity right. Um, I could go either way but as it turns out Werner have uh, stopped production at this moment in time whether they're going to restart production of those engines I don't know. So I was looking for uh, alternative engines and pretty much most of the alternative engines which are out there are uh, two-stroke um, I'm trying to get away from the two, sort of two-stroke side or you're looking at the uh, half VW engine uh, either way it wouldn't look quite right on a uh, on a vintage style aircraft it's a 1930s sort of looking aircraft uh, the alternative was then to, to start to, to rework uh, everything uh, to try and put in a, a different engine format so that is still one option the other option is uh, to look at uh, Fisher uh, flying uh, products uh, aircraft and uh, the, the only one that really sort of grabs my attention uh, as being a possible kit there is the 404 uh, biplane. Um, quite limited on, uh, on its sort of speed and range uh, and again really they quote two-stroke engines in it so something I'm, I'm going to talk to them about to see whether there's a, a four-stroke engine option which is suitable possibly the, again the half VW engine at least a half VW engine on that wouldn't look too far out uh, or there's the youngster which is uh, sort of the next one up uh, the usable load on that the payload is uh, relatively restricted um, so so bit of uh, to and fro sort of thinking about it but uh, also sort of looking around uh, the sort of variable uh, sort of various kits around uh, the uh, Europe where I live uh, the uh, Sparsec uh, SD uh, range of uh, SD1 aircraft uh, so it's quite interesting they do a tail dragger they do a tricycle undercarriage aircraft uh, with either direct sort of steering or castering uh, front wheel and they also have quite a range of engines uh, going from a four stroke uh, V twins to uh, two strokes the Hearth F23 which is the same engine as I've got currently in my Sherwood Cub. So just to get a feel of what their build is like uh, I ordered uh, that, that their rudder kit uh, just to have a have a look at uh, the sort of quality of foam and bits and pieces because it's a strange composite build and this is what like what, what came through very quickly uh, from them which is uh, very nice uh, set of plans so this is the plan of the whole rudder layout um, side view uh, neatly drawn, uh, CAD printed and um, looks looks remarkably uh, well thought out. I've looked at the uh, bits, I've done some calculations and things on that. So we've got two sheets of plans. This is that sheet. And then we've got this one which gives all the rib detail and the spar detail. Going along with, with that we've got uh, skins uh, which are oversized, uh, very thin, 0.8mm uh, plywood there, uh, spar and ribs 
uh, caps for the uh, top and bottom and reinforcement and then we've got these pink foam ribs which uh, go down the, the, the center section of the uh, of the rudder looks quite nice uh, hardware and uh, I went for the tail uh, dragger version because uh, that would be the one if I was going to build one the one I'd build would be the tail dragger reasoning behind that well I fly a tail dragger so it's, it's not uh, a huge sudden shock to the system uh, it reduces the overall weight of the aircraft which uh, effectively gives me a bit more payload or a bit more margin uh, with my weight uh, being six foot four 194 centimeters uh, tall uh, I weigh uh, around 90 kilograms uh, ready to fly so uh, this would allow me to have a full fuel load and have a bit of a safety margin as well so hardware pack comes with uh, metal, got a nice little brass bushing in there for the hinge and uh, some rivets and some anchor, anchor plates, anchor up plates. Uh, square section wood uh, for the strips going down the side of the uh, spar and for the ribs. Some little capping pieces and uh, doublers to be used within that. A glass cloth cane, uh, foam leading edge, which needs to be sanded to, to its final shape, but looks reasonably good. Uh, a set of instructions, uh, which look reasonably well set out. I've read through them. There's a little bit of uh, loss in, in translation, uh, but from the Czech Republic uh, to, to English but nothing which is uh, really going to be detrimental to uh, getting getting working it's like they call uh, plastic sheet foil uh, plastic foil and things like that nothing major at all so I've read through the instructions and they seem uh, remarkably straightforward uh, nothing out of the way for anybody who's uh, built model aircraft also uh, in the uh, the kit uh, came uh, resin, hardener, uh, varnish to varnish the inside. We've got a uh, micro balloon and uh, we've got some uh, flocks, uh, structural flocks for uh, filling and, and uh, helping to bond, especially the foam areas. We have some depressions and bits and pieces to put put on there so you've got a good uh, fill and bond it's actually sort of structural that uh, that type of setup so all in all uh, not a bad little uh, sort of kit to taste to try try and find out whether you enjoy the build and uh, I'm going to see what how it goes along so uh, following videos will be uh, well how I find the instructions, how I find the build, what I think about it and uh, hopefully you'll follow on and if I really enjoy it uh, I'll be looking at some stage in the future uh, going for the uh, material kit uh, so I'm going to be building it from the material kit if I was going to do the build uh, or if I decide I'm going to go the other way I might try one of the uh, Fisher uh, sort of tailplane uh, part kits and see how I get on with their sort of build process and do a comparison before I make up my final decision. So, hey ho! Uh, hopefully you'll uh, you'll stick with me and enjoy it. Let me know what you think, and uh, if you can think of any other sort of choices, or what would you do? Catch you and on. Bye for now. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up. You can subscribe or even hit the little bell notification for future videos. Any comments would be appreciated and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Remember, go fly and feel the sky.